Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Simple Two. Okay, back with another video. I'm gonna do for this on this Thursday month, yo. I got probably do a type of update news, you know, on you know, Montgomery to where two suspects who charged with killing on Michael Anthony Cole Jim you see Bun, man. So it's just that the two teenagers charged in death of um Michael Cole Jr. has been given Bun, according to the court documents. Suspects Nicholas King separate and you know, Nevin Jones originally denied having anything to do with Coach Duff, but eventually gave a statement confessed to the crime. It said Jones confessed to having a plan where he and King Shepard Cole, you know, and they unspecified five numbers of others would drive to a, a home on Gaston Avenue and shoot into it. And according to the statements, the crime was planned because a person living in the house has stolen guns from from Jones. So so it said that King Shepherd has had his uncle face to give um to drive in the group to Gaston Avenue to carry out the plan, but denies having gun himself. So it's just that according to the documents, while Jones and Cole one of the other were walking up to the house, Jones was in the um middle coaching does to to on how to shoot into the house when one of the individuals shot um I think um had I think let's just shot and and killed Cole by accident. So it's that both um, suspects face basically have to move from the body to a second uh, location and trying to burn it and destroy the evidence. So it's just that they receive the um, so it's just that they reveal the um location of a coach's body, which was then found. So both teenagers had their bun set at, at around 50,000. Um, you know, you know, it said they, they should make bun. But the two will be sus um to be subject to the um several conditions. So okay, since they they will be able to um, wear ankle monitors and two, they will have a curfew set at six PM. You know, we're not allowed to leave their home until six AM next day. And so say you no, know, it says they you know they're also banned for having uh own a possession of guns or data weapons. It's just that any violation of the rules can result as their bun being revoked. So it's just that the, the top self is body is still pending, man. So they got bun, man, for basically killing um Michael Anthony Cole Jr., man. But I feel like they know why would they got bun for him? I don't know, man. I guess they had confessed to the crime. So I and so they had said that, you know, they had trying to coach, you know, um probably people, you know, I say the with them to do the, the basically the shooting, man. So they had Leslie shot um, Michael, you know, inside the home, and you know, and they shot him in the head. Uh, to what I think Michael Anthony Cole was, you know, was in the house, somewhere in the house, uh, to where they uh, heard shots and how, you know, I do had, you know, got shot in the head. And so I feel like that he thought, you know, and but I feel like that the two dudes on the screen thought that, you know, you know, they shot to the home, you know, shot someone, um, house up, man. But I feel like that, you know, it's the thing in the world, like, if you do a type of, um, a drive by shooting or a type of, um, um, a shooting that involving um, you know, uh, as anybody, a kid, as a kid be in the house or children can be in the house or adults means that, you know, you know, you're trying to um, basically trying to start a type of uh, type of shootout, a crime, man. Means that you know, you know, like the people can be killed, man. You know, anybody be um, so I feel like anybody as a kid be killed inside a home. You know, if you do a crime like that, man, means that, you know. I don't know, they try to find somebody, you know, in a home that could be, you know, um a person, you know, that owns a type of guns in there, man. But I feel like that you shoot to the house, man. You know, you know, you shoot um, you know, to a house they involving adults and kids in there, man. But I feel like two dudes, you know, just kind of feel like that, you know, they wanna do a type of a type of crime, man, to where, you know, you know, they was do a type of shootout or type of shooting, man. They involving people, man. But I feel like they you know why would they would get burned for anyway, man. Burn. And so I feel like they, you know they're trying to get rid of murder, man. And so I feel like they, you know judge down here basically, but uh try to get them burned because they you know knowing that they might get caught, you know they might get charged with a crime and convicted, man. But I feel like they you know the two dudes are very much more uh known by than shooting up and killing the young, uh, basically the teenager, man. So I don't know. I feel like this type of thing can can really happen to a family, man. You know, if you still, um, you know, like your family lose someone to gun violence, means that it could be bad, worse, man, to the family. You know, because the, the um, the suspects who did this crime, 
can't be out of jail. You know, can't be on bun and type of um top of bun and thing, man. But and so I feel like that two other dudes had told the um best judge about what happened, man. So, so they probably has to get some more. I think restrictions on what to do. You know, I said why they on bun. You know, you know they cannot have no guns around. You know. They could not be out or some time, but I feel like that two of them dudes are very much more known as, you know, basically killing the teenager, man, off of, you know, what they might do, you know, what might, you know, uh, you know off of uh, you know, any type of motive, but, so I don't know, man, it's kind of sad, man, right up, man, so, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to peace, Amalia, take care, and peace.